So what they're doing now is uh, called a crossover scanning drill, and it's designed for police who ride uh, through crowded areas, allows them to act to assess the potential hazards and to safely avoid them by using the brakes and the correct gearing and pedal control. So they're using, combining all these aspects to be able to ride slowly, hopefully not hit each other. If they do hit each other out here, it's totally planned. So you can see them working the brakes, working the pedals, using their balance. So you can understand these skills are very important, especially when they work at events such as APEC, World Youth Day, any sort of crowded area. They work all sorts of events, and they're generally crowded areas. The Bathurst races, Homebush, uh, V8 races. Uh, they also do um, uh, a lot of events like concerts. So what they're going to demonstrate now is another skill. It's a demonstration of riding through a crowded event, like I was just talking about, and using those scanning drill skills that you just saw, they're going to demonstrate going through a passive crowd. Um, and uh, these, these skills are used for um, things like passive crowds, and it's not really the public order type event, uh, where you'll see the riot squad doing their demonstration later on. It's not that really public order um, riot. Um, angry crowd. It's uh, the ability to negotiate through uh, areas without actually running into someone. So you can still see they're using the same skills and those skills um, allow them to not only uh, control the bike really well but um, not hit anyone like I said. You can see that they've stopped the bikes in a specific formation and obviously that's to uh, uh, just using a, um, the police presence alone to deter the crowd from coming forward. Uh, it can be also used to channel a crowd that's moving forward into a certain area. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's not the right situation you're talking about here. It's a crowd that's moving and this, these bikes are very effective. If you like, they're, they're almost like those council barricades, but they're movable. So it's very effective. And if tactics change and the conditions change, well, they can move into different areas and move the crowd somewhere else. <laughs> 